The films on this DVD were taken about 1968. Most of them were filmed in the coastal regions of the Municipio of Nawala, Departamento Solola, Guatemala. Most of the people who appear in the films are Quiche Maya and speak the Quiche Mayan language. This is a delegation from the mission of the Helena Mission of Helena, Montana, visiting Lake Atitlan in Guatemala at a location above the lake in the municipio of Santa Clara de la Laguna. We see here the village of San Pedro de la Laguna. This is looking northward across the lake towards Panajachel. And just directly below us is a small village of Chutu Hill speakers called San Marcos. This is a valley that leads from the Boca Costa or the Piedmont area of Guatemala into the highlands. The village that we see there in the distance is one called Guiniales or in Quiche Pasaur. It's a Quiche Mayan village. The elevation of this area would be about 3,500 feet. But the trail that continues on up to the mountains goes up to about 11,000. The activities we see here are at the dedication of the radio school in Nawala. The radio school still is functioning in Nawala and provides uh, educational and entertainment programs for the people of the region.
This is Pedro Gomez. He was a uh, assistant to the mission missioners at uh, Santo Tomas La Union Mission from the Diocese of Helena. We're preparing for a trip to go to the uh, village of Pasakoyup. There was no road to this village. It was about a four-hour walk, and these are these uh, gentlemen from the village are going to carry this over a hundred-pound motor on their back up to the village, so we can show movies to the uh, people there.
This is the uh, missionary contingent along with the local uh, people who are going up to the village of Pasakahuyup. You see in the distance there where we left our vehicle at uh, the village of Shehuyup, and we would have from there about a three hour walk in, uh, to uh, Pasakahuyup. And these are scenes along the way. Here's a contingent of children waiting to greet us as we got to the village. On arrival at the village, it was fiesta time, and here you can see the marimba playing and some of the children dancing.
This is a scene of women carrying water from the water source down to the village. Uh, there was no uh, water system in the village, and so the women had to go long distances and carry the water back in their water jugs on their head. This is the area above Pasakoyup. It's a village called uh, Tsukubash, or Chikalibash. And again, it's a Mayan village, uh, very remote.
After spending a few days in Pesach Yup, the missionary group is returning back to uh, Santo Tomas La Union, and uh, this is the contingent going down the hill from an elevation of probably about 7,000 feet back down to about 3,000. This was a uh, fiesta at a small town called Palilik, where uh, the missionaries went to perform uh, uh, church ceremony, uh, wedding ceremonies.
We see scenes here of village life in a, the small village of Pasak, and it's in um, uh, again it's part of Nawala Solola.
men are uh, compacting the soil here in the preparation to build a coffee processing plant. Coffee is produced in this area, and the the uh, o- local owners got together to uh, form a co-op so they could sell their coffee directly to the exporters rather than through middlemen. Here we see the coffee producers, uh, after their coffee's been processed, loading it in sacks and then putting it on trucks to be shipped to Guatemala City for export.
Here we see a man pruning the banana leaves over so they will give more sunshine to the coffee that grows beneath the uh, coffee plant or the banana plants. Here we see a gentleman carrying his uh, firewood home. Uh, the load is probably weighs more than he does. Here we see women uh, preparing their weaving to uh, weave their, their, uh, their clothing. A contingent of Quiche Mayas are going to uh, the national uh, pilgrimage site of Esquipulas in eastern Guatemala. The fiesta is take, takes place here every year on February 21st, and it's a gathering site for pilgrims from all over, not only Guatemala, but Central America. And every year a group of Quiche Maya speakers uh, from uh, the Nahuala and Santo Tomas La Unión Suchitepeque's areas uh, go to this fiesta. And these, these are scenes of these people going on to Esquipulas. Here they're stopping at a lake just below Guatemala City, Lake Amatitlan, en route to their uh, pilgrimage site of Esquipulas. One of the customs for the Esquipulas pilgrims is to decorate uh, their hats uh, and to take their saints with them to get them blessed by the priest at the pilgrimage site.
This is the interior of the cave at Esquipulas where the pilgrims go to uh, worship. As you can see, the hats are very, very decorated. That's one of the customs of the pilgrims going to Esquipulas. Here you see the, their uh, household saints that they've taken with them to the pilgrims, uh, pilgrimage site. They have them blessed. This is the dance of the Torito that takes, is, takes place at the Fiesta of Santo Tomas, La Unión, on, Jan, on December 21st each year. Uh, this dance uh, is a, a dance probably originated in Spain, but uh, has been adapted to the Indian, Mayan Indian culture in Guatemala, and it uh, shows uh, that the Indian uh, workers trying to uh, have a bullfight with the, with the little torito, the little bull, and the uh, owner of the plantation is resisting them. The, the Spanish owner does not want them to be fighting with the bull.
another dance that is performed during the uh, Fiesta Santo Tomas is the dance of the conquista or the conquest, whereby the Indians relive their own demise or their own conquest at the hands of the Spaniards. Here we can see the Quiche Maya uh, leader of the military uh, fighting with the uh, leader of the conquistadores, uh, Pedro de Alvarado, and of course we know the ultimate outcome. The costumes used in this dance are rented and they're quite expensive. So as you see uh, Pedro Alvarado killing uh, Tecumumam, the Quiche leader, you will see they put down a uh, petate or a woven mat on the ground so when he falls he won't soil his costume. One of the customs in the area is to build these arches uh, for Holy Week. This is one in front of the church. Here we see the, this is Holy Week and Santo Tomas. These are what they call the centurions, the Roman centurions. And in the popular version of the uh, Passion of Christ, the centurions are help or assist Jesus as the Jews are trying to kill him. Here we see a picture of uh, Judas Iscariot. He's a, uh, a figure that's uh, very popular during Holy Week, and ultimately he gets hanged. Again, the centurions are, are lining the street. Here we see uh, the Jews coming, uh, Jesus in the uh, in the in the front of the group and being followed by the Jews who have on these uh, hideous masks. Again, here are the Jews in search of Jesus so they can crucify him. Here we see the contingent of Jews led by uh, Judas Iscariot. Here the Jews have captured Jesus and are preparing to crucify him. A traditional uh, tool that they use during the Holy Week fiestas and are these uh, matracas, they call them in Spanish, or carcar in quiche. And they're large noisemakers like the ones we use a smaller version for uh, New Year's. Now you see poor Judas has ended his uh, existence being hung. This is just a doll, by the way. Again, a continuation of the passion.
Here we see the, the statue of Jesus being taken from the church to, uh, to a small, uh, what they call a calvario, a small chapel uh, at the other end of town where he will rest over uh, from, I think, Good Friday till um, probably Easter Sunday morning. Here we see the participation of the non-Indians in the Holy Week ceremony. This is about their only participation uh, they carry the statue of Jesus and, uh, and a virgin of Dolores or the, the sorrowful mother in the procession. Here we see comic dancers in the village of Pasak. Uh, they, these are all men or boys, dressed, many of them dressed as women, and carry on just uh, antics to amuse the crowd.
This is a fiesta at, held at the village of Pasak. It's a non-traditional fiesta. It was organized, I guess, or at least uh, the ideas came for the games uh, from the missionaries. It, again, at the village of Pasak, we see the uh, locals uh, building one of the traditional arches for Holy Week. Here we see the children of Pasak gathered to break a piñata during a fiesta.
during the uh, ceremony of All Souls Day, people uh, go to the cemetery and uh, decorate the graves of their deceased relatives and pray over them. This is Main Street of the village of Pasak. These are children playing a game with wax that is accustomed to be played during Holy Week.
these are scenes from a another non-traditional fiesta at the village of Tampoch. It's a again a Quichem Mayan speaking village. The activities in these fiestas were organized basically by church uh, Catholic uh, action people in the village. <laughs> <laughs> 